Commander Rico, here's your Sith Lord that you've been after. Taking his castle fortress was a success, but many soldiers in Hawkbat died. Sorry about those losses, Tucker. They never get easier. But I can assure you that this will make a difference in the war. Yeah, uh, I know it will, sir. But I'm afraid that I can't be a part of this war any longer. I think I need to go and find the old masters, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and anyone else I can possibly find. I want to complete my training, fully finish it, and then rebuild the Jedi Order. A tinge of sadness washed over Rico. He'd miss Tucker. He was a good kid and brought some youth energy to this old army, but he knew he couldn't hold the youth back from the future. Eh, go for it, Tucker. To us, you're already a master, but I know that you need to prove that to yourself first. Sir, I would like to be relieved to go with Tucker. He's my family now. Not sure I could live without this annoying kid, to be honest. Very well, you're relieved of your duty, Blitzer. Your request is granted. Now, would you two like to deliver that final blow to this fool? Uh, no, sir. Chaos is yours. I couldn't take his life in this situation. But make sure you finish the job. This man is a snake. Rico thought for a moment. Maybe a public execution was what they needed. Sir, you want a public execution? Flack asked, baffled. Yes, set it up now. Sir, we don't do that. That's sick, cruel, and unusual. I want him dead, Flack. I want everyone to know our power. Rico's strange new ego and anger was starting to spill up to the surface once again. Flack was seriously concerned now. Sir, this is Dr. Lucky. Before 55 went back to the racket mission, we discussed you speaking with this doctor and maybe going to therapy with him for a week or so. Hello, sir, Dr. Lucky said. From what I've heard, it sounds like you could use a break from your station. I can give you that and get you back to your old self again. Lucky tried to lace his words with honey. He knew situations like these were tricky and needed to be handled gently. Rico was instantly furious. You think I need help? I am perfectly fine. This is my army. I make the decisions. Flack, you're about to be court-martialed if you continue. Sir, your mental health is important. It's not a joke to just brush off. That's it, Flack. You're fired. And you, Dr. Lucky, get out of this station before you get fired, too. Flack was shocked. Rico went full nuclear on him. He didn't know what to say. So he didn't. Rico definitely wasn't himself. He would need to speak with 55 about this. But 55 was back on the moon looking for Racket. So Glasden, this is the last known location of Racket? Seems to be, sir. Looks like a battle took place here with droids defending. A private ran up to the clones. Sirs, there's a large droid army coming at us now. Ugh, these droids won't leave us alone. Send the troopers to the defenses. We'll use their own fortifications against them and defend these super bunkers. What's good gamers? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Star Wars Rico's Brigade. If you guys enjoy this series, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what you thought of the episode. It means a lot to me if you do those things. Either way, in today's episode, we have the hunt for Racket continuing, and Commander 55 has located the last known location of Racket, uh, because right now they're sort of stumbling across this planet aimlessly they have no idea where they are so they need to find him uh, however the droids sort of anticipated them finding this and they've sent a large scale force to go and combat the clones luckily the clones were able to use the droids defenses against them and they set up on the trenches here to try and take out the battle droid army that's coming for them. They've got ATTEs, they've got AV cannons, uh, and they've got TX-130Ts at their disposal for this defensive line. However, the droids have tri droids, they have homing droids, they have AATs, they have uh, snail tanks, and they have infantry out the wazoo. So this is like a, a full-on defensive fortress battle. This will be absolutely insane if we're being completely honest and will be quite scary, I think, for the clones, seeing these things coming at them. Like, this is, this is terrifying. Uh, so, guys, that's going to be the video. Let's get right on into it. Should be really exciting. Uh, again, I hope you enjoy the series. Let's go. Alrighty then, fellas, we're going to go ahead and press start right now. A little bit of lag at the beginning, but nothing too bad. Nothing we can't handle. 
And here we go. The massive droid invasion commences, and it is just... Oh my god. <laughs> This might be the largest scale tank battle we've ever done in Men of War Assault Squad 2. This is absolutely nutty. I also just noticed that there is a medic in the ATTE driver position, or the, the gunner position. How strange. I guess this medic is, is combat trained and ready to fight for the Republic. I don't know why he's in there. That's that's my B. I did not mean to put medics in the ATTE cannon. That's kind of hilarious, actually. The ATTE here is doing a great job, but it ends up going down. It was nailing a lot of those droid tanks early, early on, but uh, no dice. It couldn't hang in there and uh, stay alive for much longer in the battle. I can't blame it, dude. There is a... There's a lot of tanks coming towards it, but it's lucky that thing took out like three or four of them. You know, it took out a couple snail tanks, took out a couple AATs, some tri-droids. It, it was not too shabby. It did its job really, really well. But now the infantry in this first line of trenches is basically all alone fighting against this horde of vehicles coming towards it. And they're not going to have actually anti-tank backup until the next line where they get two AV cannons and ATTE and two TX-130Ts. It does look like the snail tanks are flanking, or at least trying to, maybe doing like a little bit of a Star Wars Blitzkrieg. However, that one got destroyed, but still a lot of the Republic tanks are, are firing at it. I'm not sure why they're so fixated on that already dead snail tank. Come on, guys, focus up. Focus up here. There's a lot of living tanks coming straight at you. Luckily, they're falling for the old tank trap in the desert trick. One of the oldest tricks in the book, and they're falling for it. They're stepping right on into that trap. The fools that they are. Oh my god, those poor 501st clones. <laughs> ah! I saw a funny comment in uh, yesterday's video. I, I did uh, the Umbara mod for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and someone commented um, <laughs> every time, or no, they commented like, Him, how do you look like that? Me. Every time Daily Tactics uses the 501st in a video, I do a push-up. <laughs> Get swole, boys. All right, guys, that's the new gamer plan. That's how we all become alpha chads. Every time we use the 501st in a video, we do a push-up, all right? All right, boys, we're all going to be alpha chads by the end of the day. Why is this AV cannon still targeting the snail tank? It's dead, dude. It's dead. Focus on other things. Guys, there's a whole horde of tanks coming at you. Focus on anything else, bro. Focus on literally anything else. You are not helping the cause. You are actively not helping the cause here. Oh my goodness. It's okay. The Republic lines are holding steady for now, but I mean, there is still a lot of droid tanks off in the distance heading on forward. This is truly a devastating battle. And not to mention, a lot of the droid army is still alive, dude. Lots of this infantry is still here. <laughs> Look at this little ATTE. It's like a cat ready to pounce, but floating up in the air and dead. <laughs> it's like a dead floating cat ready to pounce. Oh my god. There's one clone trooper in this trench here, just chilling. He's actually getting kills. He's actually getting shots off and killing droids. You are an alpha. You're a Chad. You did the daily 501st challenge, huh? That's what you were doing. You were getting swole doing the daily 501st push-up alpha... Chad, challenge, dude. Whoo! Not bad, dude. <laughs> he's chilling right here. He's just chilling. He's he's being a good boy. Good boy, 501st man. Actually, the droids are are having a little bit of a struggle bus getting into um, the first line of trenches here. They're they're just taking a lot of fire from the uh, the clone defenses over this way. There's just a lot of incoming rounds that are that are messing with the droids. Lots of good fire coming from the clones. It looks like the AV cannons are still torn between actually contributing to the battle and just firing at the same dead AV cannon over and over and over again. It's a tough nut to crack, man. That decision. That's a toughie. What, what would you guys do? Shoot a dead tank? Or would you contribute to the battle a little bit? The ATTE over here is actually hurting a little bit. Oh my god, half of the clone infantry is firing at this droid tank. I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. This is insanely frustrating, dude. It's dead. It is dead. There you go. Stop. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's driving me a little bonkers, dude. Just watching them go crazy and only shoot a dead tank. A tank that they killed at the very start of the battle five minutes ago. Oh, stupid clones. 
Come on, Rico's Brigade. You guys are supposed to be the smartest of the smart. Y'all are supposed to be trained a little bit, man. Y'all ain't supposed to be stupid. Oh, another AAT bites the dust. They were a dime a dozen at the start of this battle, but now they are slowly going downhill, man. They are slowly losing their numbers advantage and getting stomped on by the defending 501st here. However, that ATTE is on fire in the distance. That means it's like one or two AAT uh, shots away from exploding, my man, getting kapooyad into high heck. So, if the droids do manage to kill this thing, the explosion very well might, might take out this AV cannon right on next to it. And if that were to happen, then ooh, baby, we would have some problems for uh, the clone troopers because that is two massive vehicles. And it looks like the ATTE did go down, but it did not take out the AV cannon. Okay, so it's pretty devastating for the clones. It's a lot of firepower going down, but it's not as bad as it could be. I was thinking this thing would go down as well, and uh, we would be seeing some pretty tragic things happening there because of it. However, that, that was not the case. Not so. Didn't happen. So uh, we're, we're still standing in these defensive lines. We're still doing okay. We still got two TX-130Ts, man. And we got two AV cannons left alive for the clone troopers, not to mention a whole heck of a lot of infantry. We haven't really been focusing on the infantry in this battle nearly as much. Um, I, I don't know why. I just, I'm really interested in the tanks this battle. But uh, you know, the infantry is definitely playing its part. Small arms fire can definitely take out a number of battle droids with ease. Um... There's actually still clones left alive over here? What? There's two clones! Just chilling here, dude! The droids are trying to kill them right now. Look at this. Look at this. They're actually getting some backup fire from the trenches behind them, too. I want to see these guys die. Oh, there goes one. One remains. I actually can't believe these fellers are alive. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, now that's only one feller. One of the fellers died, and that leaves but a mere feller left. <laughs> Alright, I think a lot of these tanks are actually stuck. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something rare, and I'm gonna help the droids out a small amount. I'm just gonna move them to a position where they are no longer stuck. Alright? Just in terms of fairness, because I did help the clones by deleting that, uh, that glitch snail tank. So this is even Stevens now. We are now even Stevens, and the battle begins once more. AV cannon firing out. Whoa! He hit the hydraulics with that one. All right. Well, that thing's definitely dead. It's going to explode in just a second. Actually, that might kill some of these droids here. I'd be interested in seeing that. Come on. Kershplode. Give me a little Kershplodey. There we go. And it did. It destroyed a lot of those droids. Holy cow. Also blew up some dead clone bodies. That's kind of tragic. All right, some of these uh, droid tanks are actually flanking around the side now while others start heading back towards the middle. Bokeh. Bokeh, dude. And some of them are just sort of lollygagging right there. Anyone want to shoot this tank? There we go. There we go. This thing's going to go down so fast. Look at all this fire coming in at it. Look at all that. I think it's, I think it's fairly safe to say at this point in the battle that the clones have won. I, I, I think the clones have most definitely managed to uh, to defend here. Uh, I mean, they have so many more defenses left compared to what the droids currently have. And they are just annihilating any droid tank that decides to rear its head, its ugly head, at the clone trooper army. You know, I think this is it. I think this is it. We've taken out another one of those, uh, whatchamacallits, what are those called? Tri droids, tri droids, right? Yeah, tri droids, not the homing droids. There's so many different droids, it can, uh, it can kind of be <laughs> tough to remember all of them. <laughs> There's just an AAT off of the distance there. This TX-130T is slowly dealing with it. What are you even firing at? Nothing. You stupid droid driver. <laughs> Very stupid. Um, we've got some of these spider droids, or homing droids. Whoops, homing droids out here. Oh, this AAT is getting some pot shots actually on the uh, the clone trooper trench lines there, killing a little bit of infantry. Not too shabba labby. Actually, the anti tank traps out here are are being more effective than I thought they would be in this battle. Like a lot of the tanks from the droids that could potentially be doing some serious damage are just getting caught. You know, they're getting caught up in stupid ways. Some of them are able to act as artillery a little bit, but most of them are just kind of stuck there now. There we go. One AAT is definitely acting as artillery real, real nice right there. 
And this AAT, I'm surprised this thing isn't dead yet. There's an entire TX-130T working on killing it. There we go, it finally went down. That took a little longer than it should have. You guys should have concentrated on that AAT a bit more. All right, I mean, there's like no droid infantry left. There's like a squad, maybe two squads of droid infantry left. Should we do one last large scale droid assault here? All right, we're gonna push the droids past the anti-tank uh, lines. Oh, oh no. My bad. My bad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. The droidy boys pressed the Nas and hit the hydraulics and all of those racing terms and they just flew. <laughs> oh no. Does this weirdly resemble the, the robot from the first Incredibles movie? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Kinda. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, they weren't going to win anyway. No! Why do they all do that? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's get a droid infantry yeet forward, and yeah, that's that'll be it. That'll be the battle. <laughs> I mean, the clones clearly won. They have so many soldiers left alive here. They got two AV cannons and two TX-130Ts in defensive positions. Like, there's literally 0% chance that the droids would have won this battle by the end. At, like, the five-minute mark, I think they had lost too many tanks for it to be feasible after that. Before that, I think they could have won, but they didn't play it very well, you know? AI's not the smartest. They just tend to yeet forward. You know, I feel like if a, if a human were at the reins of all of those tanks and stuff like that, then maybe uh, the droids could have won this thing. Actually, I think they definitely could have won this thing if they were at the reins. But uh, the fact that it was simply just, you know, AI, no dice, no dice. All right, that's a clone victory right there. They managed to finally get a hold of some stuff in this in this planet and, and managed to, to get a little dub ski right there. Um you can't really see the dead because most of them exploded or were run over by the mass amount of vehicles. But um, pretty cool battle. I really enjoyed it. More tank focused, which is something we don't usually do, but can be really, really fun when we do it. So I'm all about it. Um, oh, we got a little bit more fire. Oh, one droid tried to cross no man's land and got literally like artillery barraged all by himself. That's hilarious. <laughs> Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. I'll see y'all in the next one, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.